I actually laughed when I read this for some reason. I've modded Skyrim and Morrowind, no problem. But Oblivion? It's different. The rare times when I'm out in public, neat. I always stay within some semblance of dialogue within the game. It's fun to me. This was yesterday when I needed to get some cookies, a loaf of bread and a few chicken breasts to make my favourite sandwich. Bring all the items to cashier. Hi. Greetings. Did you find everything okay? Yes, I have heard others say the same. Oh, that's good. I had some other stuff on there besides my sandwich materials. So a few seconds of silence and she. I saw a few geese outside of your store today. Filthy creatures. Oh, were they bothering anyone? I steered clear of them. She kept quiet after that, so I decided to try again. Any news from the other states? Oh, uh, um, no. She was bagging at this point, so she tried to ignore me. Dropped my money on the ground trying to pay. She was trying to hold back a smirk. I know she didn't find me cute or anything because I'm 5'6 and 280 pounds. Don't you have a wallet? That's nothing I care to talk about. <laughs> it was pretty uncomfortable. I'm going to keep sticking to the game. Be me. 16 year old fag. Decided to download Oblivion again with mods. Why the fuck not? Torrent it and install mods. Find shady ass site. Download some mods because why not? Open Oblivion. Familiar music. 3 FPS in the menu and then it fucking crashes. Alright.png. Open launcher. Uncheck half the mods. Run the game. Fucking instant crash. Well shit. Uncheck all the mods. Even the DLC. Open the game. Press new game. It fucking works. Spawns me at Anvil Castle. Naked. With a small dick visible. No underwear. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> with a random elf coming out of the castle. Talk to him. Ear rape. <laughs> He, he, he makes an explosion noise and crashes the game. Delete Oblivion. Computer now makes horrible whirring noises and heats up when it launches. It's slow as shit now. Enjoying the modding community so far. I'll be honest with you, I may have blacked a PC modding Oblivion <laughs> as well. Like it's not, it, it is true though, Oblivion when it comes to mods, you just keep doing it until eventually the PC just shits Can't handle itself, it anymore. And then you just start again. Yeah. Like that's it, that is what happens with Oblivion yeah. though. It's so fucking addictive though. <laughs> I know. It's like, I need no mods. <laughs> Decide to try Oblivion with mods because you faggot say it makes the game a hundred times better. It is. It, it does. That's a fact, right? <laughs> Spend 20 hours downloading 50 plus gigs worth of mods. Finally make a cutie grey haired elf. Get raped by a goblin in the tutorial and apparently it wasn't a safe day for me. Leave prison sewers and head to Coral. New dog shop opened up. Owner asks if I want to help train the dogs. Well, okay, I guess. I get locked into a kennel and raped repeatedly by a German shepherd. What? What? This causes a miscarriage of my goblin fetus in my belly. Thank God. I learned a new skill to allow dogs to mount me. Dog trainer says she's got a job for me. End up fucking a dog in front of the Count of Leowin at a party. Wait, what furry me this... What exactly. Yeah, what mod? fucking fair made this mod? this mod? How did this even like you know? But he downloaded fifty gigs worth, so he probably just went down right, right, click, uh, click, 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 yeah, click, 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 click. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I know, I know. You can just get a bit carried away, carried away, and not read mods. the description <laughs> of the mods. <laughs> read the description. Get pregnant from the dog, and about a week later, I give birth to puppies. Hear a rumor about an island school called Soap School of Advanced Prostitution. <laughs> what? <laughs> It's basically Harry Potter except you learn how to be a slut instead of magic. <laughs> First lesson is on the consistency of all the races of Tamerial sperm? What? <laughs> okay, so I take it different uh, leases have different... Consistency of sperm. sperm. Okay, okay. Ooh. I have to give blowjobs to Imperials, Dumner, Khajiit, Nords, etc. To learn how their cum tastes. When I get back, I take a test where you have multiple choices to match the race with the sperm consistency and taste. I score 100%. Ask myself what I'm doing with myself. IRL. Post this. God damn it. Honestly, <laughs> I have no idea. Like, I, <laughs> like, why, why can't I do that? I have no idea. Unusual. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm going to be mod. Some of the erotic ones are like that. You can get like some of the most... That's fucked up. That's just straight up to jam. Let's see how it's fine. <laughs> that makes anything furries do the team, if I'm honest with you. Make a custom NPC in Oblivion. Don't know how to customise face. He ends up with a huge brow. Way too close together eyes. Set his skill to times two. 
give him every weapon I could think of to see which he would prefer. Jacked his stats to infinity and beyond. His only clothes are shackles, which are enchanted. Read, stat value manually altered. To confer his insane stats. Name him Mungo. Want Mungo to follow me like a butt slave, kill mobs and shit. What do you mean butt slave? Wait, sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay, keep <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Jack hostility and roaming rampage to maximum. Assume he would be in the player character faction. Assumed so horribly, horribly wrong. Spawned him in woods by Imperial City docks. Second I let him loose, I realise I forgot to make him follow me. Then I realise I fucked up horribly. He's too aggressive. He's too fucking fast. <laughs> <laughs> Mungo disappears. Realise he didn't disappear. He ran, <laughs> faster than I could even see, right towards the lake and the docks. Run to the lake to look for him. See a few dead slaughterfish floating. Check docks for him. Hear... <laughs> <laughs> of Imperial Guard combat. Drag self to shore. See carnage. Two dead guards. Whole pirate ship dead. See him appear long enough to knock beggar down with a fucking haymaker. He's not using any of his weapons for some fucking reason. I'm laughing so hard at Mungo's zany antics. He glitches off into the city. Trying to find him, Mungo leads me through the city with trails of corpses, beginning to fear losing him. Haven't seen him since the docks. Half hour later, Trail leads me out of the city. He's loose. <laughs> Prepared to load save. Realise didn't save before making Mungo. Actually, don't want to lose this file. Figure I'll revive everyone in the city later. Vow to find him. Stop this madness. Consider using kill all command. That would kill every living thing in the overworld. Oh mate, you don't want to do that. That could actually really fuck, fuck up the game. Yeah, it could, it could, yeah. Very hesitant. I'd never be able to find and retrieve any important NPC out there. Start the hunt on foot. Check woods near Imperial City. Check lake. Check peasant inn outside the city. Nothing, nothing. And a clue. Dead patrolman outside of inn. The trail is hot. Dead deer not far away. Might have been Mongo's work. Dead wolf even further away. And another after that. Follow dead wildlife for nearly an hour. Sometimes find a guard or other friendly NPCs who was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Feel like Mongo was slipping through my fingers. Seriously contemplating kill all. Mongo loops me northwest between Coral and Bruma. Praying he doesn't end up in another city. Leads me to gates of Bruma. Kills guards but seems to leave the town alone. Crisis averted. Get distracted by Black Horse Courier Delivery Boy. Why didn't they implement the BHC quest? Whatever. While world is frozen by conversation, see something orange in the background, just by Courier's ear. Is that Mungo's fucking naked legs sticking out from behind a tree? I'd know that ridiculous Oompa Loompa skin tone anywhere. <laughs> he must be fighting or sprinting behind the tree. Got you now, you little shit. Open player console. Click limb. Disable. Close console. Leg disappears. Tree disappears. What? Investigate. Hear distant ack. <laughs> Sound from road. Run back. Courier is dead. Frantic whining. See courier's horse get autonomized by Mongo's retarded mind. Fuck.exe. Open console. Too late. Mongo's gone again. Goddamn tree's huge hitbox must have blocked my disable. Minute of quiet contemplation. Fuck it. Fuck you, Mongo. Furiously pined, kill all in the console. Frame rate skips a beat as it processes so many NPCs' death. Heart stalls. It had to be done. Look for Mongo's corpse. Find none. Look harder. Find nunner. <laughs> Denied closure, but move on to the next project. Paintbrush ladder on top of white gold tar. Weeks later, contemplate many projects in oblivion. Turns out, Top of white gold tar isn't even solid. You can just clip through it. Stupid. Bros at house. Wants to show me something cool. Apparently you can skip the whole main quest with no clip. Interesting. Oh, hey. Can I show you something? Bro takes control. I sit on couch. There's this really cool armour off the coast of Anvil. Oh, fuck yeah, I remember that one. We never got to confirm this. Fast travel to Anvil. I'm watching TV now. Bro suddenly sounds confused. Anon? Did you fucking murder everyone in Anvil? Not in that character, no. Well, they're all dead. Wait, what? Then I remember. Bro, pause the game! <laughs> Throw remote. 
frantically getting up and sprinting to the computer. Pause the game, pause the game, pause the game! <laughs> Bro is confused, freezes up. Fuck it, just turn god mode on now! Try to wrestle keyboard from him. He swats my hands away, stupid fucker. Turn on god mode or not target or just fucking pause the game. Please let me play. This is really important. He gets up too late. By the time I sit down, Mongo is already upon me. Slap at the title key, trying to bring up console to delete this fucker once and for all. Just too fucking late. Mongo struck me down. Body goes ragdoll. Camera went wonky. Mongo is just off the screen. I know he is. Fucking fuck. Load Anvil autosave. Fuck you, Mongo. Open up console. Anon, what the fuck are you talking about? Kill all. Frame rate chugs for a second. All is quiet. Nothing, bro. Just shut up for a second. Search Anvil for corpse. This time, he's really dead. Giant, naked, orange corpse prostrated at the door to Anvil's chapel. Unexpected feels as I use Disable to remove him from the game. Bro is so goddamn confused. And that's my whole super long, distracting, off-topic story. The end. Yeah, what the <laughs> fuck, oh, sweet Mongo? Like, oh, fucking like, Mongo, This mate. is why you shouldn't put in, like, I've tried doing this, but, like, have, making, like, custom NPC followers and shit. <laughs> and I always end up making a ball. So, like, I never made anything like this, but I did. That's make... fucking next level. <laughs> yeah. Be adventurer in oblivion. Come to new land, looking for adventure. Join up with local fighters guild. Fucking green ogre asshole keeps calling me meat. Really sick of his shit. Frida's afternoon. Bored as fuck. Decide to check in with Burr's Grow Cash. Local guild leader. Hey meat. Got a contract for you. Fucking called me meat again. My name is Tom. Whatever meat. I have work for you. Fuck this shit. Look that faggot in the eyes. And you think this gives you power over me? Tell me, Burr's Grow Cash. Do you feel powerful now? Burr's looks at me like I'm insane. I break his neck, strip him of his armour, leave him naked on the guild's hall's dining table, stick an arrow in his chest as a message to other grunts not to fuck with me, wake up to find myself outside of the guild's hall. I've been kicked out of the fighters guild. <laughs> Fucking birds grow cash. Oh yeah, you do that. Yeah, if you kill guild members, you know we have to get sent on those big stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Missions. Ten years later, be different adventurer. Here's tale of crazy fighter who killed Guildmaster and got kicked out of Guild. Decide to hunt this motherfucker down. Find him hiding in the sewers beneath the prison. It's fucking on. Taunt as we fight. I tell the faggot I find mud crabs more fearsome than him. I tell him he was too big of a pussy for the Fighters Guild anyway. He punched me in the face. I am the Fighters Guild. And I am here to fulfill Burr's Grokash destiny. Hits me with a sword. I fall back. Bleeding badly. Not sure if I can win. I try to stand. He laughs again. That fucking laugh. He pulls out bow and arrow. I was wondering what would break first. Your spirit or your body. Fire's arrow. Hits me directly in the knee. My adventuring days are over. My face when I'm a Skyrim guard. Oh, for fuck's <laughs> sake. Oh my god. Do you remember when that man took over? Oh, I used to be an adventure like you till I took an arrow to the knee. Oh my uh, god. That, that mean died really fucking hard. That's up there with top tier cringe. <laughs> Like, that is top tier cringe, any arrow to the knee ones these days. Rate me 1 out of 10. Girls say I'm creepy. Also, I'm a virgin because of that. XD. <laughs> <laughs> you look like what happens when you click randomise an Oblivion character creation screen. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's you, the hero of the batch. <laughs> this is truly an honour. <laughs> Will I ever find a BF looking like this? Try Oblivion character creation. Oh, sweet. Is, is that a girl? Because he said, why well, have a friend of boys? Yeah, it's a girl. Oh, no, Megan. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, well, that's all the threads that's for today. Okay. See you guys later. Bye. Hope you guys enjoy. Bye, 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 bye. All those moments lost in time.